I just make cups is the only artist statement I'm really comfortable with. So this is all way outside my comfort zone. Please be gentle, Internet. I'm the senior laboratory mechanician at UC Berkeley. Oh, yeah. My name's Aaron Toole. <laughs> I make cups. Made and given away more than 20,500 since 2001. 100 pounds ago, I was in the Marine Corps. I served in Desert Shield and Desert Storm. I was super optimistic about what I was going to do to make the world a better place. After serving in the Gulf War, I was less optimistic. I volunteered for embassy duty, had two hardship posts back to back, <laughs> Rome for 15 months, and then Paris for 15 months. Got out of the Marine Corps, took the GI Bill. My first ceramics instructor was prior army. He said I couldn't decorate my work. So I started making sprig molds and decorating my work. I've since gotten into screen printing and using uh, blocks of wood that are laser engraved, kind of like intaglio prints to decorate the work. Played around with lusters. Professors would give me a hard time about the cups and ask if they were memorials or what. And I think peace is the only adequate war memorial. Everything else is at best a failure and usually a lie. This is my failed attempt at a memorial. My first year of grad school was the end of Gulf War II, and there were 393 U.S. combat casualties, so I made glazed, decorated, and shot 393 cups. It was funny, professors didn't have very much to say about functional ceramics, but once I shot them, boy, they couldn't stop talking. <laughs> Is there cups for the Alfred alumni? Made in China, sent to Florida, fired with the decal of my image on there. Nicely made. I was in grad school. My wife said she wanted to try to have a baby. I was like, yeah, let's try. Happened faster than I expected. To the cups I passed out at the hospital. It's my first thesis proposal. Curator said no. So I made another thousand cups and mailed uh, cups to the Bush administration the second time they got in. Congratulating them on their position, asking them to please do what they can to keep the outcome as close as possible to the stated goal. Porcelain cups. Couldn't reach the ones on top. My sister gave me a hand. That's a sprig mold of a bullet hole. That's a functional cup. My first commercial attempt. This is a Marine Corps rifle company. You could buy the whole company or a platoon or a squad or a fire team. Sold a squad. 13 cups. This is that moment, right, where the cup can go unchipped for 500,000 to a million years or a little piece of lead hits it and that's that. Same with the ward dead, that little piece of lead. Went to China, got to make China in China. Met some awesome people. Father served in Vietnam. I got to go to Vietnam and make cups with that clay. We ended up being in the same place, a little time lap there, but time gap. But in the back there was the studio I ended up working in cups I made in Vietnam. The idea was to bring some back and sell them to raise money to do unexploded ordnance and Agent Orange remediation. These are cups in Berlin that sold for a hundred bucks a piece and cups in Kansas City that did not sell for $35 a piece. Caterers are getting hip now and inviting me out to make cups with people which is a lot more fun than just me boxing cups up and mailing them off. But it's kind of intense going from a child talking about war to adults or veterans talking about war. I crossed that line from productive to obsessive here. This is 1,300 cups I made for this show. Got to Skype at the opening in Scotland for this show. Got to make cups in this crazy World War I memorial. It's really kind of weird, like Illuminati Masonic Lodge. You should check it out make cups for vets in Palo Alto, or I tried to, meant more weapons contractors there than vets. Please don't touch. Then went to Oakland and made cups downtown. I met a lot more vets down there than I did downtown Oakland than I did in Palo Alto. The big fun is giving the cups away, and that's what I hope, you know, the, the good or service I hope the cups provide is an opportunity for people who have first-hand experience with war to talk to people that they love about their experiences. You know, a lot of the experiences are really hard to talk about. The National Veterans Art Museum is here. This woman ran in. She said, 
she screamed, I'm leaving, this is rude, this is offensive. And the show was all combat vets talking about war, and, it, and I was struck, like you wanted, the, you wanted to go to the museum and talk about war, but it, it was supposed to be polite and inoffensive. That seems kind of crazy. Got to meet real good people making cups and travel. Got to go to France, make cups there. It was the 100 year anniversary of the beginning of World War I. Made cups and then displayed them out here. I would have made a thousand cups, but lunch was two hours every day with hard alcohol. So I made about 800. And if you go there, I think still today, if you make it out, you can, you can uh, pick up a cup there. Got to go to Germany and make cups there. Lunch there was 30 minutes. We went one day and made cups, went one day and glazed cups, went one day and gave cups away. The Nelson Atkins Museum made cups there, and we opened it up to people who'd lost family to violence, so teen suicide and you know just regular crime. That was super intense. But we made the cups with the help of the minions there, and then the cups were displayed. And it was nice that families could come out and share their stories with each other. Get to work with lots of good people in lots of cool places. I'm in the permanent collection at the Renwick I couldn't give those cups away, so I mailed a bunch and gave them to the staff and guards there, which was fun. Some of the guards were vets. Get to travel and make cups with really cool people. It's a lot of fun. And then the value, you know, like talking about industry and economy, like I, I just give the cups away so they're of no value, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, some guy got in my face. He's like, "How? You're just giving these cups away. Someday, you know, somebody's gonna make a lot of money selling them. So good luck to this guy. I hope some of my friends get to make some money. I got asked to be in a show, but make some work. It wasn't so political. They passed. I think we're all kind of subject to the same problems of necro capitalism. This always makes me uncomfortable when people say thank you for your service." Violence produces nothing but violence, right? And war losses measured in casualties or death, lives measured in, in lives, and profits measured in dollars. Makes me want to hide my head and dig a hole. But I make cups instead. Yeah, we're all victims of capitalism. You know, the suicide things that issue in our community, I'm trying to work on that. Time passes. I think America's kind of lost its mind at the moment, but we're here to help. Every target is somebody's baby. Yeah, I just make cups. I don't like talking about them. Immigration issues, prison issues, Native American issues, and whatever. Good men dying. Kind of makes me uh, feel like this guy. Eyes wide open, looking at the negative. But people are trying to help. I'm always amazed looking at pictures of the stars or, you know, NASA's pictures and just how wonderful and beautiful it is and then how cruel we are to each other. Someone said, art is the possibility of love between strangers. I like that idea. And cups is a pretty impotent little gesture in the face of everything that's going on, but it's what I have. And we're coming up on the 100 year anniversary of the end of World War I, so I'm hoping that the next 100 years is better than the last 100. Strength to love, everybody. Thank you for your time.